This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rettinger's Rants. I'm your host, John Rettinger. the show where I rant and rave on something in the world of technology. Up this week, it's kind of an interesting topic. I was all set to rant on how big a giant pain in the ass it is to switch Android phones. And I mentioned it to our managing editor, Roy Choi, who sent me a Rettinger's Rants from April, where I ranted on what a big pain in the ass it is to switch Android phones. So I thought that I would make an update to that talk actually about how I switch Android phones, and maybe if you're looking to get a new phone, you take some of the pain and the buttness out of that whole process. This is Rangers Rants, let's go ahead and get started. So there are many awesome things about my job. I get the privilege to play with and check out some of the latest technology in the world, and part of that is I switch phones. I test different phones, I'm always switching what my daily driver is. So we got our HTC One Max in. Todd, he's looking to finish his review and I wanted to try it. And I was switching from the Galaxy Note 3 and I realized switching Android phones can be quite difficult. iOS, whether you love it or hate it, has a really eloquent solution for backups and restores. You can back up on an iPhone 4 and it'll look exactly the same on your iPhone 5 or 5S or backup on a 5, look your same on the 5S. It's just a very, very elegant solution. Nothing really exists um, on the Android platform, whether it's because of different manufacturers, different skins. It'd be really difficult for that to sort of work cross operating system too, if there are different versions of Android that you're running. Now, some manufacturers have their own backups. HTC has got a pretty good HTC backup solution. Samsung has something similar, but really nothing uh, that goes across different manufacturers. So I thought I'd share what my process is to switch Android phones. And it really was a very convoluted process. It used to be, I would start over from scratch. I would log into the uh, Google Play Store from a web browser. I would sign into that uh, phone using that same email address, and I would send all the apps that I had right to that device. I'd go through one by one from a manual web web browser, and I would send each app there. Then I'd go through each email, and I'd set that up individually. I'd go through and set up permissions for all the apps individually. I'd set everything up from scratch. And it took a while, probably you know, 45 minutes, an hour and a half, depending on how in-depth I wanted to get with the device or how long I was going to use it for. And then I thought there's got to be an easier way. Because I was doing that, I was losing all of my SMS history. I was losing all my call history. I was starting all over from scratch. A lot of times I stored numbers and text messages and I just didn't have that. So then I thought, all right, there's got to be a better way to make this work. So I did what you guys do. I went to the App Store. I looked online. I found an app called SMS Backup Pro. So okay, I had my SMS backed up, but not everything else. So I did some more research and I found an app called My Backup Pro. There's a pro version, a free version. I paid the money uh, and I bought the pro version. It actually worked really well. So what it does, it's going to back up all of your applications, back up your call log, back up your SMS, uh, contacts if you want. And it'll restore your phone almost the way it was uh, to what it looked like before. It'll move over all your pictures. It makes life a lot easier when it comes to moving data and information. So I really appreciated that it worked. That's really what I do now when I switch phones. First thing I'll do is I will download My Backup Pro. You download it on both devices. It creates sort of an ad hoc Wi-Fi network. It transfers everything via Wi-Fi. And it just worked really, really well. It's not perfect. There are a lot of things I'd want to improve on it, but it does get everything over. I don't have to go through and download all my pictures again from Dropbox. It just saves them and moves it right on over. And it's worked very, very well for me. It's taken sort of my process from, again, that 45 minutes to an hour and a half down to maybe 20 minutes to switch Android phones. So it's not as elegant as what you see on iOS, but it does work very well. So if you're like me and you want to try and switch Android phones, it's been a giant pain in the butt for you. Try downloading that app. You maybe find a better app that works better. It's better for you. Leave in the comments down below. I'm always looking for something good. I'm not married to this app, uh, but it has worked well for me in the past. So let me take a minute to thank our friend sponsors, the good people at Gamefly. You probably know what they are already. They are the largest online video game rental service, and they offer you a ton of choices, over 7,000 new and classic titles, pretty much across all consoles and platforms. Uh, so with plans starting at just under 16 bucks at 15.95, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they want. So if you really want to play Grand Theft Auto V, you go ahead and just sign up for it. It comes to your house, play it for as long as you want. And when you're done killing people and jacking cars, you can send it back to them. There are totally no late fees at all and shipping is totally always free. Once you're done playing a game, you just kick it back to them and they'll send you the next available title on your list. It's pretty simple. If you really like the game though, if you're like, hey, I really want to keep killing people and jacking cars, just like keep it on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. So Techno Buffalo fans, and I hope you are, get a free 15-day trial when they go to Gamefly.com slash Techno Buffalo. Again, 15-day free trial. Go to Gamefly.com slash Techno Buffalo. So this wasn't really a rant, it was more of an advice, but it was an update to a previous thing that was pissing me off. 
Uh, so if you guys like these kind of videos, let me know. And if you want to see more tips and tricks, I can work them into Right Ranger's Rants uh, every now and then. Leave them in the comments down below. Again, we'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Check out the technobuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. Please give the video a thumbs up. We definitely appreciate it. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you next video. What's up guys, it's John again. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you saw, I hope you did, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Come rain, shine, sleet, or snow. Ask the Buffalo, where Ashley Escada answers your tech questions and a rumor roundup where yours truly tells you about all the best rumors in the gadget world. Click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. Till next video, thanks for watching.